So I've got my page set. Uh, I've got the template that I like in a master page. And I've created these menus. And the menus are linked to content that are in folders. So I'm set up nicely for role-based security. So now I want to start to configure that role-based security. So the first thing I'll do is unzip the site manager. And I will copy and paste it into my project. Notice this one's a little different. I've worked uh, reworked it a little bit to make it more user friendly. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've included the, the stuff that we need to put in the web config file. Uh, so these settings would go inside of the root web config file in order to make the security manager work. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, this information in there. Now notice here I would put all of this onto one long line and make sure you set the correct user ID, password, and database here. So let me get into the root web config and make those changes. So this first one is for the unobtrusive validation errors I sometimes get uh, that's in reference to the jQuery. Next is the role manager. I'm going to enable it, so I'll set it to true. Uh, I'll set the authentication mode to forms. And here's the login URL. So when I need to log in, I'll go into this folder and this page, and I'll need to create that. The last thing that I want to paste on here would be the connection string information. And here I've copied in the connection string uh, information that you can get uh, from ICON. And after I make those entries and save the file up, now I'll try to open Site Manager. And I can get into the role manager to create new roles and delete roles. So let's do that. I'm going to add a role for administrator. And I'm going to put R underscore in front of my roles so I know that these are different from my users. I'm going to add a, cut, a sales role. And I'm going to add a customer role. So there are my three roles. Uh, now I'm going to add users to put into those roles. So I'm going to create an administrator account. And for this administrator user, I'm going to assume they're a high level administrator. So they're going to want access to all the administrator stuff. They're also going to want access to all the sales stuff. And they're going to want access to all the customer stuff. So I'm going to give them all three roles. I'm also going to create one called just admin and just admin I'm only going to give the administrator role. And I'll go through and create the same for customer and sales. For this customer role, I'm only or for this customer user, I'm only going to give them the customer role. They, it wouldn't be appropriate to give them anything in sales or administrator. And this might be a higher level sales administrator. So I'm going to give them administrator uh, sales role and customer role. And then finally, I'm going to create one that's just sales. And these are just dummy accounts I'm using right now to test my security and make sure that my role based security is working correctly. So when I look at my users, I have an administrator that has multiple roles one that only has the administrator role. I have a sales that has multiple roles and a sales that only has the sales role and then the customer. If I wanted to check to see who my administrators were, these two accounts are in the administrator role. These three accounts are in the sales role. And these three accounts are in the customer role. 
Okay, so now that I've created these, uh, I need to create a way for them to log in. And if I look in my web config, it was the login folder. And the file was named login.aspx. Pick the master page. And then inside of the content, I need to drop a login control. Save this up. Uh, and now it's time to lock down the folders. So inside of the admin folder, I'm going to create a new web config file. Inside of this web config file, I'll add the authorizations. I'm going to only allow administrator into this folder. I'm going to deny customer and I'm going to deny sales roles. I'm also going to deny unauthenticated users. I'm going to copy and paste this into the other folder, so customers. And I'll need to edit it to allow the customer but deny the other roles I have created. So it's going to allow customer, but deny administrator and sales. If I want an administrator to get into this customer folder, I will go into that administrator's individual account and give them the customer role. For sales, I'll only allow the sales role into this folder. I'll deny administrator and I'll deny customer and I'll deny unauthenticated. If I want an individual administrator to be able to get into the sales folder, I will give that individual administrator the sales role. Okay, so I have my web configs in place and I have my login in, uh, in place. Let's see what happens. So this is the unauthenticated user. As soon as I want to go to customers, I can get in as the customer. But when I try to access something that requires more permissions, then it prompts me to log in as that other person. Remember, this salesperson had access to customer stuff and sales stuff. So sales is fine. Customers is fine. But when I try to go into administrator, I need another login. This admin account could access the admin folder. It could access the sales folder and it could access the customers folder. So those seem to be working correctly. Now remember, I have a just sales that can only access the sales stuff, not the customers and not the admin. So let me try that account next. So this user can access the sales information, but they cannot access the customers, nor can they access the admin. I also had a just admin. And let me test that. This person can only access content in the admin folder. They can't access sales and they can't access customer. So it appears that my role-based security is working well. And if I would like a user to have more access, I would need to add that role for them. If I wanted just admin to be able to also access stuff in customer and access stuff in sales, I could go in and give them the customer role and the sales role, and then they would have that permission. So I'm controlling access to the individual components from an individual user. It makes it very modular.
Now, one problem that I am having whenever I want to log out, uh, I have to basically close the browser. So that's not very useful. So I would like this login placeholder to become that, um, that log out login button. So I'm going to get onto the master page. And I'm right here in the login ID, uh, login status uh, div. And I'm going to just drop in an ASP login status control. I could give it a different ID if I chose. And now when I view the page, I can log in. I can log in as sales. And I can log out. So I would uh, like to have that formatted a little better. So I'll use CSS to do that. And now when I view it in the browser, it looks like the rest of the menu items. I might want to scoot it over. I like that better. All I did was change the float from left to right. So this will eventually get replaced with a text box uh, and then it'll be formatted better, but this now looks like the menu items. Uh, if I log in, I can do my tasks and when I'm ready to log out, I can log out. Now the last thing I would like to do uh, is only display menus that the logged in user has the privileges to see. So if you're in the admin role, you'll need the admin menu. It will be viewable to you. If you're in the sales role, you'll need the sales menu. However, if you're in the sales role, you will not may not need the administrator menu. So I want to hide that. So your role membership determines what is viewable to you in these menus. And I'm going to do that in the code behind on the master page. It'll be inside of this page load sub. I'll just add to this. And I'm going to achieve that functionality by using if then statements. So I'm looking to see uh, if the user is not in the role administrator, uh, then I'm essentially hiding uh, menu items with the text property of admin. So if I look at the tool master page, I can see in the menu item, I will hide where the text property is admin. And if the user is not in sales, it's not in the role sales, then I'll hide the text item sales. So I would hide these menus. So based on your role membership, uh, you can uh, menus may or may not be viewable. So I've saved this up uh, and let's test it. So if I log in as the customer, the customer only has the customer role. They can only see the customer menu or any sub menus. If I logged in as the administrator, the administrator, remember, has the admin role, the sales role, and the customer role. So all three menus are viewable and any sub menus that would be under here. So I've done a pretty nice job of implementing my role-based security. I've tested it uh, and I have set a way to log in and log out easily using a login control. And I have also hidden menus or am displaying menus uh, based on your role membership.